Hi everybody, welcome along to another edition of Tottenham Transfer Talk with me, Emma Storey, the lovely Craig Mitch, oh, and the equally lovely Rhys James. Uh, we've got a few things to talk about this week. Um, we're going to talk about one that looks like it's going through as we speak, hopefully should be done by the end of this week. We finally get a striker, people. Vincent Janssen, AZ Alkmaar, £16.1 million. Pounds. What do you think? Good. We need a striker. I'll take anyone. <laughs> just, Happy just with that. Just good. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. He scored loads of goals last year. I'm happy with that coming to us. I'm, I trust Paul Mitchell. I'm sure he's going to be great. And that's, I haven't really seen anything of him. I haven't even watched a YouTube montage yet. But I will do. I'll go home after this. <laughs> and I'll immediately watch a YouTube montage. <laughs> so it's better Janssen. informed. Yeah, exactly. And they'll always have some weird dubstep in the background, like they always do with some weird dance music. What about YouTube football montage soundtracks are weird. What about you, Craig? I know he's coming from the Dutch League, which is probably not on a par yeah, with Prem. I don't know, but 27 goals, top flight, you can't complain. Do you know what I mean? Even if you score 27 goals in League 2, it's still an achievement because it's a lot of goals. But sometimes it isn't because, you know, Will Griggs did it and... He didn't even get a feature at the Euros. But sometimes, I mean, <laughs> you score a lot fire. of goals. Yeah, yeah. Victor Janssen's on fire. We can start a chant. But no, I'm just happy. We need a striker. We need an out and out striker, someone that could be a backup. I don't want to see Chadley up front anymore. I'm sick of seeing that. <laughs> Human Swan scored a couple goals, but I have something in my eye. <laughs> it's really getting in my eye. Don't nerves. tear up, mate. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Daddy, could try yourself. I know Chadley was bad, but. <laughs> No, but no, I'm happy with it. Like I said, 27 goals. I think he'll slot right in. Um, I think it is a Paul Mitchell buy. I don't think it's a potch. But Do you not think these guys are like one and the same? Realistically, they're not. Realistically, I think they have their own kind of eyes, and but they trust each other. And that's the most important. <laughs> yes, they have their own eyes. <laughs> Realistically, they but have their own eyes. They're, they, they're looking at their own kind of players that they want to get. But they trust each other. So I do think... I could be wrong. It might actually be a potch buyer, but I just think it is a Paul Mitchell one. I mean, the other thing as well that's probably worth mentioning is the fact that Janssen very clearly wants to come to Tottenham. He's yeah. made yeah. it very publicly clear, hasn't he? He has, yeah. He was really angry that the transfer seemed to be being blocked yep. as they were holding out for more money. Yes. And now we are, we are kind of bowing to that, aren't we? Aren't we just giving we them the money they want? But, I mean, but yeah. it was not that much. Wasn't it one million? It was one yeah, million exactly. different. exactly. I mean, I think we started our well, initial... Just, a million. just no, give them a million, no. mate. No, I think our initial bid was like 11 and then we upped it to 15 and then they were like, no, we want 16. I mean, this is the boy also... Wait, wait, wait hold on. 11, <laughs> is that what we did? That is so with, cheeky. To start oh, with. Yeah, that's very Spurs cheeky. 11. It is so special. For a striker in this climate, that's very cheeky. This is Levy. What do you expect? Leave you alone. Um, but interestingly, you know, PSG came in and Janssen was like, no, 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 I don't want to go to PSG. AZ were like, oh, yeah, wow, PSG, pound signs or yeah. euro signs. Look at the money we could get. And Janssen's like, no, I'm not going. I want to go to Tottenham. Great. So, what is there that about go. then? How can, what, like, he wants to come on, not PSG. What is, what is it about? He wants to play in the Premier League. He wants to play in the Premier League. Fair enough. And Victor and Janssen, good on you, good on you. Like a, 60 million in this clubs. climate is, is not a lot. Like no. 30 million is the new 15 million. Well, it's, so half, really, it's half what we would have paid We paid 7 right? million. <laughs> really, if you think about it. <laughs> if we're living in three years ago, we paid 7 million for him. Well, there we go. So there you yeah, You heard it here first. We're only paying 7 million for him. Better, better than paying 34 million for Saturday old money. So, yeah, let's not yeah, go there with that one. Uh, especially not with Glenn, our cameraman back there, who I think is a Liverpool fan and is uh, not necessarily that impressed right now. Um, but speaking of strikers, if we're getting, or it looks like we're getting Vincent Janssen now. There are a couple of other rumours floating around, so I want to see what you guys think about these. Antonio Sanabria, Roma and Paraguay International. Yep. Now, the rumour is, from sources in Italy, that we are interested in him, or Roma have told us to go away, and they're not interested in doing any business mm. with us. Now, he's, like I said, Paraguay International, he's 20 years old. What do we make? Do we think that that would be a yay um, or a nay? Doesn't sound that realistic to me. I I'm a, I can't really see it if you know with Janssen so close to being done. Spurs don't really do things like that. I don't. I don't think you you take the chance on signing two really young strikers when we've already got yeah, our main he, man. And our I, main man's already really young. Well, yeah. Do you know what? I wouldn't mind a third striker to be honest. Yeah. I think we'll go back to the days. You know, remember we had like. King, used to have four. Off the used to, bow. Yeah, the crowd used to like having four. Didn't we they? did, yeah, but that, we had he used options. to play two up top. Yeah. Yes, he did. True. This that is, is also true. But, but I would do mind need three. three. I would, I would yeah. like to have three. Why I just not? can't Go see from us. One to three. Yeah. I just don't like think that. they'll. I just don't think we'll sign two. We won't. Unless we won't, someone we'll comes we'll along that's like too too good to be true kind of thing. But like a young guy like that, I don't know. I think they're kind of just going to go. Ah, we got Janssen. I thought. I think it's one or the other, really. So we think Sanabria no go. I mean, the thing about Sanabria as well is. Do we really want to strike that plays in Syria? Like, really? I'm not a bigger fan. I know you got Morata, had a decent season, but like, yeah. I don't really want someone from Roma again. We got Lamella, it took him ages. <laughs> I see. South American so that took ages to bed in. You can't base this all on Lamella. Yeah, but I'm just saying, it's a similar formula, isn't it? 
a South American that was playing in Serie A, yeah. took ages yeah. to come in. The football's much slower. I just think it will take too long. I mean, he's young, but nah, I want results. In now. which case, you, you, <laughs> might, you might not like what I'm going to say next, unless you said don't like strikers who in Serie A. Who are you going to say next? Uh, the other real rumoured bid, which um, is a very weird one because it would be a club record, is Maro Icardi from Inter Milan. Oh, uh, mm. again, he's good. Good again, player. sources good. in Italy. How are, old is Icardi? Uh, I actually don't know off the top of my head. He's good. not as young as the other ones. No, though, right? um, but Icardi, the rumour is in Italy that we have bid 38 million. 38 million for him and into no. a Pounds or euros? Down. Has to be euros. Uh, no, that's pounds. Yeah, no, exactly. Don't no. believe exactly. that for one second. I mean, he did score 16 goals last season, which, you know, is a fair return. Nice um, but you've just already talked about your lack of love of Serie A strikers. Yeah, I mean, I, no, I actually like him, but I still, don't I still think it will take him a bit of a while to adapt. The Prem's just a different ball game completely. It's too fast. It's too physical. Yeah. They're not about that over there. They just want to play it slow, take their time on the ball, have a bit of pizza. There's no time for that over here. <laughs> Results. And I mean, Reese, if that there was... is time for pizza over here, mate. Leicester won the league. <laughs> yeah, true, true. And I mean, Reese, I mean, you know, uh, if that was true, 38 million club record. I mean, what would that mean for Harry Kane? 38 million. I want him to be getting minimum 45 goals. I mean, <laughs> 16 is nowhere near enough. I want 45, ideally 50. But what in that... Serie A, in the Premier League, you can get 10 and I'll be yeah. fine. But what, what would that mean for Harry Kane, though? Yeah, I know. It, you know it'd I be, mean... But maybe it would be like a trippier Ben Davies situation where it makes Harry Kane even better because he's suddenly got rotate. some competition. Because at the moment, he yeah. hasn't got any. I mean, he's not been terrible. He won the Golden Boat. He's been amazing. It's not like he needs that competition, mm -hmm. like maybe Danny Rose and Kyle Walker did. Mm -hmm. But maybe we've only seen, you know, Harry Kane 1.0. And we're going to move on to Harry Kane 2.0 and it's going to be... This is a hypothetical better. scenario that's never going to come to fruition. <laughs> so I don't yeah. know why we're still talking about it. Yeah, Icardi's so, not coming. We yeah, definitely did so that. So we basically decided Icardi, later. load of rubbish, basically. Yeah. So we're moving away from the striking department now. There is another interesting little rumour doing the rounds. Heard yeah. it from a few sources now. Like, the chances are we're in for an attacking midfielder, yeah. which isn't necessarily okay. a shock. Yeah. But the name being linked... Jorginho Wijnaldum. Oh, my. Good. Newcastle. I think that'd be good signing. That'd yeah. be a very good signing. What about his attitude? Which, let's face it, was not great towards the end of last season. That's fine. I trust Pochettino to get the best out of people and to, you know, give yeah. them a positive attitude. Because always you... put his hand around their mouth. Exactly. Yeah, do that and they'll go, oh, yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Chill out. Plus, you have to, but you cannot play for Spurs now without being incredibly hardworking. So it'll be, he'll be exactly. a bit shell shocked when he comes in and then he'll go, oh, everyone here is just getting their head down and working hard. Yeah. And he'll just like, if he's mates with anyone in the squad, then he'll immediately have to just be like, oh, right. Yeah. You just got to do that. You got to train hard to I'm, get in the team. I saw, I saw glimpses of his brilliance last season, but I mean, well, he was. Oh, he, for Newcastle, he was Played Newcastle's. I think he's a quality. Well, he was player. also linked to Perez as well. Yes. Another one that's just. Yeah, but I know. Fine Aldum was uh, Newcastle's top scorer last season with 11 goals, although he did go something like four <laughs> months. <laughs> I know. Same amount as Deli Ali. Although right. he did go something like four months without scoring. I mean, do you think the fact that he was obviously playing at a relegated club kind of uh, hurts? His heart wasn't in it. His, nah, he got bored, thought, oh, I'll, I'll move next year. Apart from the last game of the season where everybody in of Newcastle course, yeah. just went mad. I mean, that is a decent return for an attacking midfielder, to be fair for, for any team but I just don't think no nah, I wouldn't take him what kind of money do you think he'd be in this current crazy market that we now have yeah, where Sadio Mane costs 34 I, I, million I would take him for a reasonable fee I'd he's take still at Newcastle for, right yeah. yeah in the championship and he's also made it very clear that he doesn't see his future lying at Newcastle so they've already got a job to hold on to him how anyway. much did Townsend go for 13 yeah about 12, 12, 13 M's. I'd pay no he's more. He's worth more than Townsend Ooh. I'd pay 15 I'd pay 15 pay 15 yeah if I had it, Craig. Which I don't. I mean, Dutch footballers just aren't what they used to if be. It, no offence, Jansen. If it, if it um, <laughs> they're just Cheers. not. They're just not. But I'd, I'd say 12. 12. I'll go 12. So somewhere between 12 and 15 million, we think we take him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what do you think? I think 15 is actually a realistic. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. a realistic fee. But I mean, you know, I'm not convinced by him. But that's me personally. Okay. Um, I think anyone who's playing in a relegated team, like if you're... If you're scoring loads of goals and you've kind of been dragging your team along yourself, then I can understand you coming in and, you know, us coming in and poaching him, but yeah. he didn't do that for you. Like, I'll take Defoe for a season. Well, absolutely. As our first striker for a season. First striker? What? Third, third striker. Oh, third. You know, oh, we're going to have Janssen Kane. I'll take Defoe for, for, for a season. Yeah, I said this last season, everyone laughed yeah. at me. No, no. Remember when I said that? Remember in January, I said we should take Defoe? And then he ended up scoring, what, 15 goals or something? I'd take Robbie Keane back, though, because of nostalgia. <laughs> 
I miss him. And on that really <laughs> random note, I think we're going to round up this transfer talk here. So let us know what you think of the guys we've been talking about today. Do you think we need two strikers? Do you think getting another one in is enough? Do you think Wijnaldum would be a good signing for Tottenham? Um, give us a comment on who you think, who else we should be trying to sign. Um, give us a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new and uh, come on you Spurs. How's it going, people? Craig Mitch here, joined by Barnaby Slater, and this is Tottenham Transfer Talk. So I'm just going to warm you in and let you know what we're going to be discussing.